Since Obama won a second term, there will be another GOP presidential primary in four years instead of eight years. Let's hope the GOP actually learn their lesson and nominate somebody better than Mitt Romney. Who might run in 2016? Bobby Jindal, Scott Walker, Marco Rubio, Jeb Bush, Chris Christie, Rand Paul. The only person I can really see myself getting behind, getting excited about is really Rand Paul. But Julie, Rand Paul is not his father. Yeah, you think it might be a little unfair to constantly compare him to Ron Paul. Even Rand says there will never be another Ron Paul. But Julie, Rand Paul endorsed Mitt Romney. I know, Rand is not his father. Father. There is differences between the father and the son. Rand and Ron have different strategies, but policy-wise, there isn't much difference at all. Ron Paul has always been primarily focused on education and spreading the message. Ron Paul critics will say, oh, he never got a bill passed by Congress, or he didn't even win a single primary. But that was never his main priority. He ran for president three times to draw attention to the problems that this country faced. He never backed down. He never pandered. Some people would say, well, Ron Paul would have a better chance of winning the GOP nomination if he would stop talking so much about foreign policy. But Ron Paul didn't care. He kept being Ron Paul. He didn't endorse Mitt Romney. In 2008, he endorsed a third party candidate. He did whatever he thought was best. He didn't care if it hurt him politically. Because it never really was about becoming the next president. Now, I I wanted Ron Paul to win so badly, but Ron Paul's main goal has always been to change the hearts and the minds of the people, and he has accomplished that goal. He has inspired an entire movement with millions and millions of people dedicated to the ideas of liberty. I owe Ron Paul a lot. He has literally changed my life. Ron Paul and Rand Paul have different strategies. Ron Paul is more ideas oriented and Rand Paul is more action oriented. I think we need both strategies. There's already this liberty movement out there. Rand Paul wants to take our ideas and make them happen. I understand that a lot of people are still upset about Rand Paul endorsing Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney is no friend of liberty, no question about that. But from the beginning, Rand Paul said he would endorse whoever the Republican nominee is. He first endorsed his father. He was campaigning for Ron Paul. Ron Paul's campaign sent out an email saying, we have no shot of winning the Republican nomination. After that, Rand Paul endorsed Mitt Romney. I believe that a Rand Paul 2016 campaign will be focused on winning. Rand Paul knew that if he didn't endorse his party's nominee over Obama the previous cycle, he would be considered too fringe. Endorsements are just talk. They happen all the time when politicians endorse another politician, not because they believe in what they stand for, but because it's political posturing. It's going to benefit them politically down the road. And because Rand Paul wants to win, he may not always be speaking our language. He may not always quote radical libertarian thinkers because he's trying to appeal to a large base of people, not just us libertarians. He's more willing to build coalitions and reach out. So is he really one of us? Well, actions speak louder than words. Look at his voting record. It's almost perfect. He has introduced bills to audit the Fed, to abolish the TSA, withdraw troops from Afghanistan, end domestic drones, and mandatory sentences for nonviolent offenders. He has recently filibustered on the Senate floor the Patriot Act and the NDAA, which he both opposes. Rand Paul is not his father. They have different strategies, but their ideas are basically the same. We can sit here and daydream about the perfect libertarian candidates, but I want somebody who is libertarian leaning, who has all of our principles that can actually win, can actually beat these establishment candidates.